In order to use the fold scope without a light source, we will need to attach the light module. The light module comes in a pouch that looks like this. So let me go ahead and remove it. It consists of a battery connected to a PCB board with an LED. So in order to attach it to our fold scope, we're going to have to put it on one of the cutout pieces in our cutout sheet. So the piece is right here and I already cut it out. So let's take a closer look at it. Um, when you punch out all the holes, it has three holes, two on the right and one on the left here. So the first step is to peel up these two legs closest to the singular hole on the left. So it'll look like this. And we're going to insert the tail of this PCB board into this hole and push it forward until the edges of the PCB board are resting against these two feet that we just pulled up. But to get it to stick, we're first going to have to add a piece of double stick tape. So you can use the double stick tape provided um, on these strips, or you could use your own if you have any. So I'm going to go ahead and use the tape on this roll. So I'm going to cut off a piece, and we're going to place the tape on this side with the T-shaped um, junction. So we're going to place the tape right there. Um, be careful not to put the tape over the LED, which is the small yellow bar in the middle of the PCB board. So once you've attached the tape, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to push the tail through this hole and push it until the feet are stuck, and I'm going to turn it around. So if you aligned it properly, then you should be able to see the LED through this hole in the center. It should be yellow. And because I see the LED, I know that it's aligned. And this edge of the PCB board should be flush with the edge of this piece of uh, this cutout. So I'm going to push it and align it, and then press it down so that it sticks. OK. So once it's stuck, now let's prepare the fold scope. So let's look at the back of it. So we have these two flaps. and. Uh, at the intersection of, or at the crease of this flap, you see a hole here. Uh, it's hard for me to, let me see if I can focus in on it. You can see a hole here, as well as a hole here. Now, that's where this tab and this tab are going to fit. So. Okay. And then there are also tabs here and here. They're the further tabs. There's closer ones as well. So we're also going to want to peel up these further tabs so that they're sticking up. Let's go ahead and put this in here and this in here. And then we're going to pull these tabs over the light module piece. so that this square piece is tucked under the tabs. And then on this side, we're going to do the same. However, the PCB board is going to be partially in the way. So we want the tab to be in between the PCB board and the paper support under it. So it might take you a few tries. Then you want to get the tab tucked under there. And what this will do is it'll force the alignment of the light module with the lens. And that'll give you a nice, clean, bright image um, that won't have a dark rim around it.
So you can turn the LED on and off using this switch and you should be able to see a light come on on the other side. Once you have the light module attached, then you're going to want to take these folds that ha have been creased this way and pull them in. This will also help force alignment. If ever you're having an alignment issue, it's most likely because these haven't been folded in and aren't uh, properly holding the light module. Another accessory that we're um, providing is something called a condenser lens. Because the LED is so bright and it's possible for it to become misaligned, sometimes a condenser lens can help um, normalize the light and prevent misalignment. So that's what this piece is here. It should have um, uh, two pockets, one without a bead and one with a bead. So both of them are important so don't throw the, uh, either away, but we do need to separate them. So you can take a scissors and cut between them through the hole um, in between them. So you should have two pieces that are the same size and are identical, except for one has a lens and one does not have a lens. So we're gonna keep the one with the lens and it's going to go in between the light module and the stage. So we're going to have to remove the light module to install it. And before you put the light module back on, we see this hole right here. And we're going to take our lens and insert it through the hole. And you should feel it click into place and it should just stay there. Um, due to a force fit and then you can put the light module back on so put these through the tabs um, and slip the light module under these two tabs and then tuck these in and there we go now we have a light module installed with the condenser lens One of the most important reasons to include the light module is to allow you to use the high magnification lens uh, because it needs a lot more light. So the high mag lens, or our low magnification lens is 140X and our high magnification lens is more than 400X. So it's actually a pretty big step up. So as you can see, we have the high magnification lens here, but it's uh, the pocket is too small to fit into the same hole that the low magnification lens fits in. So in order to install it, we need to use that piece that we separated from the condenser lens in the previous step. So we need to glue this holder piece on top of the high magnification lens. Now to do that, we're going to use um, the double stick tape that's been provided. So I'm going to cut two small strips. Okay. And we're gonna wanna place this on the plastic around the high mag lens so that we can attach the, uh, the holder. So I've peeled off one side of the tape, uh, of the protection around the tape, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the high mag lens. And make sure you do not tape over the lens itself or else you won't be able to see anything. Now I'm gonna take the other strip. And place that there. Now once we have both of them uh, attached to the high mag lens we can peel off the other protective surface
It's a little bit difficult. Trying to be patient. Okay. I got one of them. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use tweezers to help me, help me out with this. This is really hard. Okay. So I've taken the protective surfaces off, and you can see the tape. It's kind of glossy. And now we're going to tape it to this holder. Now, you'll know that if they're aligned, if the two registration holes at the top align with the two registration holes on the high mag lens. So we're going to put them together and visually align those two holes. And when they're aligned, we're going to press down. And now we know that the lens is in the center of the hole for this. Now what this holder does is it allows us to take out the low magnification lens here and attach the high magnification lens with the same force fit. So we're just going to push it through and it'll stay. So now, as long as you have a light module attached, you'll be able to view your sample um, in high magnification.